friends. Sorry, I had to go get my water. So if you're watching the replay, go ahead and fast forward. Um, you're not you're not missing anything. But um, we're gonna wait for some people to hop on. I do have to share this fairly quickly. Let me see here. My nose is itching so bad today, you guys. Like a little bit of allergies coming. Must mean spring is in the air. Or no, I have fresh flowers actually in my kitchen. That's that's why. So all right. Um let's see here. All right, computer is up. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Make sure you guys say hey when you hop on. Hey Mary. And make sure you guys hit that share button too. Um, everything, everything helps. And that's like the biggest thing that you can like do. So super, super straight hair today. We're still straight from what day was that? Saturday, I think. Um, which I did have to run the straightener over again this morning. So, all right, let me get this shared and we will begin. God, my arm, it's just so bad. Like right where my bra strap is sitting. All right. Here we go, we're making progress. <laughs> Y'all know it's always a hit or miss with this concept. Hey, Heather, welcome guys, welcome, welcome. All right, first off, if y'all have not been on the site and y'all don't know what's on sale, y'all are missing out, okay? Um, Splurge Cream Shadows, um, the powdered lipsticks are on sale, um, so many good things. So if you have not been over there, make sure you go check that out. <laughs> And um, I am going to swatch the powdered lipsticks for you guys today. They're called lip powders, but powdered lipsticks, lip powders, whatever. Um, oh, goodness. And so you guys can see those. Um, they are some of my favorites. I still, um, right now with my lips being um, fairly healed from the allergic reaction, I um, am going to stick to my tried and trues for today. But I want to make sure you guys see these because they are actually, no, I might actually have to use one or two. They're so pretty, you guys. Hey, Karen. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Shelly. Hi. Oh, yay. It's so pretty, isn't it? Hey, Crystal. Welcome, friends. Okay. Um, it's Monday again. What happened, you guys? What is happening? Um, all right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Oh, I need to share this into this group is what I need to do. And then I need to cover my computer. My poor nose, y'all. I swear. I woke up this morning and it was so, not even congested, just itchy. Share into a group. And I know it's because I have fresh flowers in my kitchen. And you know, if you're not used to them, but they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. They're not going anywhere. I will take one for the team. Hey, Caitlin. All right. All right, so we are posted, we are shared, we are good to go. Um, I do have my camera lifted a little bit more today. I'm trying to see if I like something, a little bit of a different setup. Um, so far, I like the angle a lot better. Um, I feel like I'm always looking down at you guys and I don't really like that. So, oh my word, now I'm gonna start sneezing. Okay, all right, I'm going in with Behold Setting Spray. Y'all y'all know the drill. Um, all right, let's talk about these lip powders for a minute because when these came out, people were like, oh God, what in the heck are these things? And they are on sale. And hey, Amber, and I want to swatch them all for you because y'all, I'm telling you, in the summer, really year-round, you can wear all these because there's so many different colors. But there are a couple that in the summer you're really, really going to want, okay? Hey, Lindsay. All right, so I have a lot of limited edition lipsticks hanging out in there. I see you. Um, <laughs> that I haven't played with in a while. I buy everything, y'all. Like, if we launch something, it comes home in a heartbeat, and I'm just like, ah, kid in a candy store. It's so good. All right. While it, what is that? Um, okay. While my, um, da -da -da. before we do that, I'm going to put primer on so it has time to set while we swatch these, um, lip powder so you guys can see them. So like I said, there is a major sale, um, button on my website right now. So it's up to 30% off, or is it all of them are 30% off? They're all 30% off, and 10% of the site-wide profits, whether it's a discounted product or not, are going to the Unique Foundation, which is um, a amazing program that helps benefit um, sexually abused women and children. If you are unaware with what the Unique Foundation is, there is information on my website, um, and I'm going to say this, and if you are one of these people, um, if you are a victim, okay, 
there is healing for you and it is through the unique foundation and i highly highly encourage you to get on the website and do your research um there is an amazing retreat that is sponsored through the unique foundation it's a nonprofit, um and it's it's amazing i, I personally know people who have gone so um definitely check it out if it's something you know you're you're interested in um okay real quick oh gosh i almost dropped all the lipsticks i want to pull them up to see what we have in stock all that good stuff which ones are on sale so i have all of the lip powders right here they are so good you guys and the cool part about them is that they are a powder so when you open these you'll you'll see it on the wand they are a powder um but as soon as they touch your lips they turn into a cream and it is like number one science experiment times 10 um but number two it's just very very cool so We've got a couple of them on sale right now. Complicated is going to be the first one. Um, it's not all of them, but some of them are on sale. So this is complicated. When you open this, if I get this on my keyboard, I'm not gonna be a happy camper. Um, put a towel over it. So it is, if I can do this without making a mess. If you can see that, it looks like, it's, it's a powder. I don't know if you can see it falling off of my brush or not, but it is. So what I do is you can tap off the excess if you need to, and you can see the little powder that comes off, right? All right, so this is the shade Complicated, you guys. It is so pretty. And like I said, the minute it touches your skin, it turns into a cream, okay? So that is the shade Complicated. They're usually $22, they're on sale for 15, okay? So that is Complicated. I'm gonna sniffle this whole video and I'm, it's like not attractive. <laughs> All right, the next shade that is on sale is Captivating. Captivating is one of my favorites, you guys. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've used these. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Mary Ann. Hey, Emily. Make sure you guys share when y'all hop on. But once again, it is a powder. I don't know if you can see the powder coming off, but you can see the powder on the edge. And this, I try to make this like nice and pretty, but it doesn't ever work right. So, y'all, y'all. Okay, hang on. Let me put this back in here. Look at how freaking pretty that is, okay? So the first one that's on sale is that brownish nude. It is complicated and captivating is gonna be the berry shade, okay? They're both 15 bucks on sale. They're usually 22. And then the other two that are on sale, oh, curvaceous, what? I'm always, I, I pick these up and I'm like, oh, I miss this, it's so good. All right, this is curvaceous. This is like a beautiful one. If you like a good bright red lip, uh, y'all, it is like an like a red. And here it almost has like a berry tone to it, but when you put it on, it has more of like an orangey tone to it. You want to talk about a perfect lip color for the summer, you guys? Like, that's beautiful, so beautiful. And then the last one that's on sale is going to be compatible. Compatible. Once again, it's one of my faves. Hey, Caitlin. And it is a powder, so I'm just gonna tap off the excess. This is beautiful. I don't know which brown is my favorite, honestly. This is compatible, and what was this? Um, complicated, right? Yeah, complicated. So those were, are on sale for only 15 bucks. Um, this one is probably one of my faves. Hands down, one of my faves. Um, we do have, let me actually try to make these go back in here and get them. Um, there are more summery ones, which is why they're not getting rid of the summer ones because, I mean, let's be real, look at those. So pretty. Um, Contrite was a really big popular one when it came out and so was Casual. Casual is just very wearable. Um, and then the other one is Koi. Koi is super, super pretty on. So these are on sale, just these four are. Um, a lot of the Splurge Cream Shadows are on sale, you guys. So definitely go check it out if you wanna save some money. Um, which, who doesn't love to save money? Um, go check out the Steals and Deals tab on the website, and then you can kind of shop around. So, like I said, those four are on sale in the um, lip powders is what they're called. All right, I'm taking our liquid makeup remover and going to get these off of my hands. Um, so, I don't end up with them all over my face. So, they dry to like a creamy, like a creamy matte formula. That's kind of how they dry down. Hey, Shaylin. Um... So they're not like crazy drying matte at all. None of our lip products are really. Um, yeah, so just a little stained, but nothing too crazy. All right, so I wanna show you those because I think lip products, people get so excited about them and then when they're on sale, it's like the best day ever. So 
we are going to go in with, let me get these little babies open here. Um, let's see. Pricing, uh, 15 bucks for the ones that are on sale, those four that are on sale, and it is while supplies last. Um, or I think tomorrow is the last day. While supplies last or tomorrow is the last day, whichever one comes first. Um, all right, so we're taking the cashmere and satin liquid touches liquid touches and we are going to mix those two together probably more satin than cashmere I haven't tanned um pretty much since I've, I've tanned once in San Diego so to me right now I'm pale if you put me next to a pale person I am tan um <laughs> it's just kind of one of those things so y'all I'm so sorry I'm gonna like sniffle all freaking day like <sighs> it's fine it's totally fine all right so we're going to I'm just kind of tipping the bottle over at this point. Um, and dabbing satin on my face. Satin, satin, satin. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm going to do a little cashmere, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. It might blend out kind of nice. Let's do it without cashmere today. Oh, that's when you know I have got to go tan. I feel so pale. Like, no, not a fan, not a fan of the pale life, guys, which is funny because satin is not a light foundation shade in the slightest, but my skin, my face right now is lighter. Y'all know I exfoliate all the time, um, so then it's like really light, especially when I'm not spray tan, God knows, so, so light. I thought about going and spraying this morning and I was like, no, I've got too much work I have to do. I'm going to watch my nephew play hockey tonight um, or practice. It's his practices on Monday nights, but he gets to play like two different kind of intervals, I guess you could say, um, like two different practices. So I like to go see him practice, um, especially because I missed his first goal um, last week. I was not there. I don't know where I was. And I was in town. I just wasn't there. So I'm going to take a little bit of... The cashmere, you can tell it's just a little darker. And I just, I want a little bit of it. Just wipe it off the little squirt thing. Just a little bit. Just to even it out. Yeah, I, I've got to have the warmth, y'all. I need it. <laughs> I need the tan this. We'll bronze up my neck and go spray tan tonight. That's what we'll do. Okay. I like that. I think the combo between the satin and the cashmere actually works really nice on me. Um, like I said, my, like, the rest of my body is still very tan. It's just my face. And it's hard, like, on camera, too, because it looks like, oh, God, her foundation's going to be so dark. But once you compare it to the rest of my body, like, if I put on a tank top, my chest is definitely a little darker. So, okay. So, we are good and blended. I just picked my hair up. Not that it's cleaner. We have to watch out for anything. So, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, like I said, this is the Liquid Touch. Let me put these wands back in here. Um, in the shades Cashmere and Satin. This is my favorite foundation, you guys. I love the Airbrush Foundation so much, but I always go back to the Liquid Touch. And I don't know if it's just creature of habit, probably. Um, you know, it's just my, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. I love it so much. And I always blend my foundation uh, my liquid foundation out with the sponge. So there is satin and cashmere blended together to give us my perfect shade. Okay. Hey Lauren. All right. Now what I'm going to do is relocate these so they're not in my way. And I don't know why that one won't close, so we're just going to put that out of the way so it won't spill. All right, um, we're going to grab the stick foundation in the shade Velour. Y'all know this is my favorite way to conceal right now. Um, I don't know. If we launch a new concealer, I would obviously give it a try, <laughs> but this is like my holy grail right now. This is my favorite way to conceal. Um, I get enough hydration underneath my eyes where it's not like too crazy. Um, and it keeps me so bright all day long. There's nothing cakey about this. It just, it gives me the lifted appearance that I need. I love it so, so much. So I do use the Kabuki brush blah, blah, brush to blend this out. I believe this brush is out of stock right now. Um, the Airbrush Foundation 
launch killed the stock on the brush. So um, if you guys need a brush, grab the powder concealer brush. Maybe, here it is. Oh yeah. Grab this one. This is like my backup foundation brush and you can actually use the concealer side or this side. This gives you a really flawless airbrush look as well. Hey Alyssa, make sure you guys say hey when you hop on. Let me know that you're here and hit that share button when y'all hop on. It helps so, 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 so much. All right, so this is the stick foundation. If you guys are dry skinned, get the stick foundation, the stick or the spray, either one of those. Um, I will say the spray is probably our most versatile when it comes to skin type. Um, whether you're oily or dry or a combo, I think the spray works amazing on all of our skin, on all skin tones, all of our skin tones. I just have one. Um, but the stick foundation is amazing if you guys are dry. If you guys are dry skinned, grab the stick foundation, okay? It does have that luminosity in it. Um, I personally can't use it on my entire face because I am oily, but it works wonders for my under eye section. So I just kind of make it work for me under my eyes. Um, and I usually don't have that many issues with it as long as I set it with Behold powder. How do you prevent concealer stick foundation from creasing under the eye? Uh, Behold setting powder. But that's why I bake with mine. I do let it set uh, while I finish my makeup. And that's going to be huge. Also, don't wait that long in between um, pressing your concealer in and then setting it. Make sure you do it pretty instantly. Hey, Amy. Um, and then notice, like, I'm looking upward. I don't do it looking down or with my eye halfway closed. Like, I look upward and make sure that my skin is, like, flat when I'm pressing this in. And then I go right in with my Behold powder. Let me cover my laptop again before I make a mess. Um, I go right in with a damp sponge and set pretty heavily. Um... And the purpose of the baking is to keep things from creasing. So setting is going to keep things from creasing, of course. But when you bake and you go in with a heavy layer of that product, it's really going to help melt everything together and set it. Um, you are going to look crazy like this. But you guys, if I can get on Facebook Live looking crazy like this, you can do it in your bathroom. Okay? Promise. So it's going to feel weird at first. You're going to be like, oh, God, there is, I feel like, cake face. <laughs> um, it's going to feel weird. But I promise when you're done, your makeup's going to look so flawless. It's an emergency. Hey, I was in that ambulance. <laughs> I recognize that sucker. Um, that was a fun day. Um, okay, so everywhere that I put it, I always put it around the creases of my nose. Um, naturally, as women, we get, we're hormonal, right? And so that's actually one of the places where our makeup will um, cake up and uh, come off very easily. We'll also get really red right there. Some of you probably haven't noticed it, but I bet like the next time, let's say you're like super hormonal, you know what I mean? Um, you're gonna notice that there's redness right there. You just wanna cover it up. Some people get more red than others. Some people get more pink, but okay. So I am good and set. I also do a little bit in my laugh lines because your girl is happy. So I need it in my laugh lines. So we look crazy, right? But you can already see how it's kind of softened. It's not crazy heavy, right? Yeah, you you don't want to let your concealer hang out um, without being set under your eyes. Your eyes, the skin under your eyes is so, 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 so thin. And so there's, there's not as much to hold product there, right? So we've got to help our under eyes out a little bit more than the rest of our face, which is why I instantly set it. So same concept with our eyes. I'm going to go in. And the splurge cream shadows that are on sale right now, you guys, you could totally grab to do this job right here. And we're just going to blend that out with this little baby brush. It will solve all my problems, make me look so awake. And I'm here for that. Here for it, okay? Look, we already look so much more awake, right? Um, does the setting powder have? No. No. I will not. <laughs> buy a powder that has flashback. No, not happening. I, every picture I take, I have Behold setting powder on, whether it's nighttime, daytime, ring light, whatever. Um, professional photography, um, I've, I've done it all. Weddings, and I've not had any issues. Uh, I use it on brides too. Hey, Crystal. All right, let's go ahead and grab the pressed foundation, pressed foundation, pressed powder foundation in the shade Satin. 
I need to go order. Actually, I need to check my drawer. I need to order today. What I need to do. Um, I need to check my drawer, though, to see what I have and what I don't have. Because sometimes I'll order extra. I know I don't have any brow pencils left. i got to do that. got to get on that. Set our entire face where we did not put Behold powder. And sometimes I'll run over the edges, of course, and that's totally fine. Totally fine. All right. So there is that. We are flawless people. Like, other than like our setting situation. Um, flawless. Okay. Flawless. I'm here for it. All right. I need a mirror though real quick. Give me put this right here. I don't know if my glasses have made just like a permanent indentation on my face, but I'm starting to think that's what it is. Um, okay. Because I noticed it all day yesterday too. Oh, you know what? It's a breakout. Never mind. Just kidding. I'm not that cool. All right. Um, we're going to go in with bronzer. You guys know we're using the um, Beachfront Bronzer. Bronzer. Bronzer in the shade Malibu. I got to open that time without any problems. And we're just going to use our little brush and swirl the two colors together for starters. And buff this on. And this is just to bronze up the skin. Give us some color back. Make us look like we've been in the Caribbean. Um, if you are fairer than me, we do have two other bronzer options. This is the shade Malibu. Sunset's going to be the lighter, more golden. And then is going to be like more of the medium tone. It's got some reds in it. They're all so pretty. I think all of our bronzers are beautiful. Um, but this is this is my go-to. But I'm all, obviously um, so tan all the time that I just, this is the one that works best for me. All right, so we're gonna grab this little brush. I just dipped it in here on this side. And bronzer, I use a Morphe E4. Whoops, I just swirled it around instead of just getting it on that one. It's a Morphe E4. Um, if you get on the website, I would grab the um, tapered blusher brush, which is the one I'm about to use for blush. That is what my friend Rhea used when I was out there. And I think I'm gonna order another one and start using it, to be honest with you. Um, I love that brush so much. And so I, um, let me see if I can, where's that? This one right here, the Taper Blusher Brush. So it works really good for bronzer. It works really good for contour because it is tightly packed bristles. Um, but I'm gonna use it for blush, which is crazy because I never use a brush for what it's supposed to be used for. So. We're gonna pack this on just like that. Y'all know my foundation routine does not change. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna softly blend out our face. What time is it? See, the time change has me all jacked up. Not bad jacked up, but like, last night I was like, oh my God, I need to go to bed, it's so late. And I'm like, but it's not really. Mm, yeah, they're super similar. Um, the small one is obviously a little smaller. The And the larger one's larger. So the blusher brush, if you have these purple ones, the blusher brush is kind of in the middle of those two. That's a very good question, Lindsay. Yeah, so this is the large beachfront. This is the small one. This is the blusher brush. Super, super similar. I do think the, br the bristles on this one are a little shorter um, than the other two. So there might be, this one might be a little bit more densely packed than the beachfront brush. Beachfront brushes. Lord have mercy. All right, you guys, I kind of want to keep my look super simple today. Um, and so I, with that, I'm either going to grab palette four or palette one. Um, just because I really just want a light dusting of a bronzy color without a lot of effort. So, um, well... Here's, oh, here's for hand one. I'm using palettes to lift up you guys right now. So I was like, oh crap. Hopefully I don't have to mess up my um, current little setup situation. I've got like the tripod and the ring light and all the, the shenanigans, but I needed you guys higher. So I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to keep you guys higher because I like it. Is my camera dirty? I don't know if that's any better. It might just be the lighting. Can't tell. Okay. 
So with that being said, like I said, I just want to do something super easy and just bronzy. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is actually go in with palette four. And I literally, y'all, I don't want anything crazy. Like, I just want a light, light dusting of color. Um, I've got errands I've got to run today, like I said. So, I want to be as easy as possible. Hey, Serena. So, we're going to go with Palette 4 again. And I'm going to grab the shade Arrogant, this, like, baby poop color. And tap off the majority of the excess. Because, like I said, I just want just... A really light dusting of color today. I don't want anything crazy. And then back and forth in windshield wiper motions. This is the fluffy crease brush. Y'all know I can't live without this brush. Um, everybody needs this brush in their life. It's so good. And then so not only am I doing windshield wipers, but I'm also doing small little circles. You'll see too. Um, the more movement you're making, the more blended your eyeshadow is going to be. So try not to stop. Did I pick up the right color? I think I did. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Hold if I put my Okay, so that is Arrogant from Palette 4. And then what I'm going to do, y'all, I can't not do this. This is my favorite way to do my eyes when I'm just going for like a super basic eyeshadow look. Y'all know what product I have in my hand if y'all know I'm struggling this bad. It is Beachfront Bronzer. <laughs> y'all, what in the heck? Ow. I swear. If you can't beat them, join them at this point. Because I'm like, I can't, cannot get it open. I'm going to have to like leave it open. Y'all, like I, this must be Jesus saying, girl, you don't need that. Use that eyeshadow palette. Okay. Let me try again. Let me breathe. I'm going to break a sweat trying to get this daggum bronzer open. Okay, y'all, I've never in my life struggled as much as I have with this one. Okay, what I'm going to do now is pick up some Beach Run Bronzer. I'm just going to swirl my blending brush in there and then just kind of dust it back and forth. Just to kind of bring it all together. You know, I think it's super pretty together. Mary, I just use a um, spoolie and brush them out when I'm done. That is all I do. There's no like, I mean, you can invest in cleaners, but there's no need. And that is from my lash girl herself. And I, I take very good care of mine. Um, and I do maintain them with her often. Um, so it's not like I, you know, don't take care of my lashes. Um, I take very good care of my lashes. Now, I think if you weren't taking good care of your lashes, then you may need to invest in some cleaner. But other than that, I think you're, I think you're fine. All right. So what I'm going to do now is grab the liner shader brush. This little baby right here. And we're going to pick up Hey April um, a little bit. I'm actually going to blend these two together and dust that in my lash line. Like I said, super simple today. I don't want anything crazy. It's Monday. I have errands to run. I am in a crop top sweatshirt thingamajig and um, leggings that I actually have to change before I go out in public because these are not, these are just some... Um, they're more of like yoga pant leggings where they have like the little rollover band and you can't really wear those with a crop top, you know? So, hey, Tina. All right, so that's just super soft liner right underneath there. Super easy. Y'all, how pretty is that? That's an eyeshadow and a bronzer. I think it's so pretty. So, it's Arrogant from Palette 4 and Beach from Bronzer. That's it. That's all we did. Like, I like sometimes you just need to be easy and it's still pretty smoky like we still have some drama going on right this lash needs to get back up there um but it's not anything crazy it's not anything that takes like talent you know what I mean um okay now I still always go with black eyeliner because you know living our best lives right um on my lower lashes
Oh, girl. It's 12 o'clock. There's the church bells. <laughs> Every hour on the hour. And they'd go for 15 minutes. It's a little much, if you ask me. And I love me some Jesus. But, <laughs> um, okay. Now what I'm going to do is go and do our brows. Y'all know my brow routine does not change. I feel like that's one thing that once you find what works for you, you stick with it, right? So we're using the brow pencil in the shade Blonde. And I'm going to brush upward on my brows and then go right in underneath. And just kind of small brush. Oh, girl, what you doing getting down there? Um, Get out of there. Small brush-like strokes is what we're doing to make it look like hair. You don't want it to be like so crazy drawn on that it's like used a stamp. They do make eyebrow stamps, by the way, if you're into that. And I don't like mine like crazy perfect. I like the more natural side of things. Um, when it comes to my brows, I don't wanna look so snatched up. That's a pretty dog. Um, this is why it's better for me to film at night instead of in the daytime because I get so distracted. And at night I close my blinds. Um, all right, let's go ahead and brush these out. Okay, super pretty. Can you clean the spoolie part of your pencil? Yeah, um, you can use a toothbrush or you can use another spoolie or like one of these and just brush it out. Yeah, you can. Mine, I use way too fast. Or keep an old one, like this is an old one, um, and then you can clean it out. So. Hey, Brett. Brittany, I don't know if you got your perfume yet. Oh, that's another thing, you guys. All the perfumes are on sale right now, too. Um, I don't know if you got it, but the lip powders are on sale, too. I'm going to tell you that. Four of them are. And they're beautiful. Okay. So, I've got to get off of here and then go to Best Buy. I think I'm going to bite the bullet. I keep saying, I'm going to go get a new computer. I'm going to go get a new computer. And I haven't done it. So I'm going to go do it today. <laughs> no, it looks like it though, doesn't it? It's where like that first little face, face framing layer is. It definitely looks like it is. Not yet. No, I go back in April to get my hair done. Um, so we'll, we'll see if I bite the bullet and just do it or if I freak out. What happens is I usually sit down in that chair and like she gets to playing with my hair and I'm like, it's so beautiful. I don't want to get it. Kind of how, how it happens. Maybe I'll drink a couple beers before I go this next time. No, I can't. My appointment's in the morning. That's not going to work. Um, I'll have to figure something out. Hey, Michaela. Oh, no, you're good. I want to make sure that you knew the other stuff was on sale, too. Um, all right. Let's see here. We're going to dust away any excess that we have going on. All that extra powder from underneath our eyes that we left on there to make sure our under eyes would not crease. Okay. And we're going to highlight with Lustrous and Pearly. Y'all know the drill. One day, I'm going to surprise y'all and I'm going to change my entire makeup routine. One day. Um, and actually, once summer comes around, I'll start whipping out the BB cream and press powder combo. Um, but that's like pool day glam. All right, so I'm gonna use Lustrous and Pearly, blend those two together, and pop them on. I know, I, I've had short hair before. Um, when I was a brunette, like super dark hair, I had short hair. Um, that was a long, long, long time ago. Um, and I did it. We're going to grab Lustrous. This is a liner shader brush, and we're just going to pop it on our brow bone. Um, and I loved it. I really did. And everybody else really liked it. It's just the commitment of cutting it like God knows. Y'all, I can't with the tail of this brow. I don't know what has happened to it, but it looks God awful. Like, it's like it got cut off. I mean, it didn't. I trimmed them, but 
it looks better than when I trimmed them. That is for sure. Um, let me mess with it for a minute. So yeah, it's it's in the it's in the works. Um, we'll see if I actually follow through with it or not. I'm fully aware that my spoolie is not out, by the way. Okay. All right, so then what I'm going to do is just grab um, the fluffy crease brush that we had and just make sure that we've got no harshness going on up here once we popped on that um, highlight. Now we're going to spray our face to set it for the day. Good to go. We're gonna let it dry a little bit. <clears throat> and we're gonna pop on some regular Epic Mascara on our lower lashes. And then we're gonna do a lip and we're gonna be done. Okay, I always get mascara over here on my lower eyeball. I think it's because those lashes right there are just so long. Glad those are, because my top ones sure as heck aren't. Um, Amazon, Angela. <gasps> oh my God, that is the biggest. Okay, listen, <clears throat> if you don't know anything about me, which you do, obviously. Um, I love Carrie Underwood, okay? Carrie Underwood is like goals. She is my idol. I love her. If I could be anybody for a day or 10, it would be her. Um, I love her. I love her. She's like, she's like my, I love her so much. <laughs> love her. Okay, I'm gonna try to wipe makeup off my hands so I don't get it all in my hair because that's the one downfall of having blonde hair, people. You get makeup in it and you're screwed. Um, hey, Nicole. All right. Let's see what lip combo we're going to do today. I really just want to be super pouty, y'all. Um, speaking of pouty, I just saw my lip liner. Here we go. Um, and the liquid lipsticks, honestly, they're working so good for me right now. Um, maybe I'll do Sublime. What's this one? That's successful. I thought Sublime was in here too. Oh, that's pretty, but it's out of stock. Um, okay. Y'all, my poor nose, I swear. It's not even like it's running. It's just like just enough to make you mad. You know what I mean? So, okay. We're going to go in with none other than Pouty and... Overline, okay. So this is this is my staple lip combo, you guys. I this is I wear it all the time. If you watch me, you know that. Um, it's hard for me to veer from something once I found something that I love. That's just me being honest. Um, but this is also an easy way to get a super super pouty lip. So we're gonna overline just a little bit. and fill in just the edges and the outer corners. Okay. Always get your corners with your lip liner too. So that is slightly Overlined. And see how we're already starting to look pouty? We've got them filled in in sections. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, oh, successful would be pretty, wouldn't it? Successful would be so pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna go that dark. I don't wanna go that dark. Um, 
Let's go Sublime. Howdy, Angela. And I will link this entire look when we're done so that you guys can go directly to the shopping link. It'll have everything listed and then you can pick and choose what you want to add to your cart. You can add the entire look. My recommendation is to message me before you add it, okay? If you want the entire look or you want more than one product that I've used today, message me and let me know because if you do them individually, sometimes I can save you more by bundling them. So, let me know first. Okay. Hey, Micah. Okay. So, I'm going to let that kind of set for a second. And we're going to go back in with lip liner. Thank you. Thank you. It's fairly fresh. Um, I don't know what it is. We're kind of experimenting going back and forth because we're lightening up all the underneath part. Um, so it's a little warmer than it usually is, um, but I love it. I love it so much. Hey, Tara. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the lip liner. And just kind of give it some love on the edges. So Sublime is like a good peachy nude. And then we're going to go in on top with Lux Lip Gloss. And we are like pouty. We are like super, why are we so peachy today? Maybe it's because I have on peach and I'm noticing it more. Um, so, sometimes after I put on gloss, y'all see me do that, I'll kinda do a little bit of a blending situation. But look how pouty. That is, I have no lip injections. I've told y'all that before, but it's just the way that the liner is and the way that the lip, uh, liquid lipstick is with the gloss on top. You get this super, super like pouty look. So that is it. We are done. I'm going to hop off of here and photograph this for you guys, upload it to the website, all that good stuff. Um, this video will be saved here for future reference. It will also be uploaded to YouTube. So, um, I've worked on the past couple days of getting some things uploaded. Um, sometimes it works great and sometimes it works horribly. Um, so it takes me a little bit to upload them. So just bear with me if you guys are um, hanging out with me on YouTube. Um, other than that, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Best Buy, get this new computer that I've been meaning to go get. Um, once again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Need color matching, let me know. Um, and then also the seals and deals are only available while supplies last or through tomorrow. So if you guys have any questions, send me a message. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.